welcome to the other 167 in the name of our savior and lord the lord jesus christ today we shall look at deborah that great woman of god the first woman leader of the nation of israel god chose deborah in her generation to give leadership to the nation during its dark period how bold she Debora was how courageous and confident she was to take up such a big mantle and give leadership to the nation of Israel she was a woman of god a woman of faith and action who trusted god at every step that she took and at every move that she had to make what a beautiful leader that we have before us in the old testament the book of judges is a book of the bible written in hebrew and forms part of the official history of israel the events in judges took place during the period between joshua's death and the rise of samuel and saul If the phrase in Judges 18:30 the day of the captivity of the land refers to the Babylonian exile then the final form of the book does not precede the time of the exile but most likely most of the books that have been written by King David's time according to biblical archaeology the period of judges covers about 300 years During that period the role of a judge was not so much of the judicial role but rather judges functioned as rulers or saviors or deliverers Deborah played a significant role in the life and history of the nation of Israel as led by God Deborah is a Hebrew name which means be also in the old testament This was the name of the nurse of Rebecca the wife of Isaac as we remember Now let's look at Deborah's family Deborah lived during the period of judges not much is known about her personal life or family life It is stated that she was the wife of Lapidoth as we see in judges chapter 4 verse 4 lapidot means lightning flashes lightning flashes or torches deborah lived with lapidot under a palm tree between rama and bethel in mount ephraim the ephraimites were her people there is no account of her children in the bible which may be that deborah and lapidot did have children but who they were and what they were doing or their story is not known to us it is not recorded here or it may be that uh, they were childless they were a childless couple and uh, they lived together and they were able to give more time to people deborah was the mother in israel a mother of israel the mother of israel we can say As a leader she had found favor with God as well as with people God had called her to be a prophetess as well as a judge In her song of victory over the Canaanites she speaks of herself as a mother in Israel Judges chapter 5 verse 7 She may have mothered the people as they sought out her judicial decisions at the palm of deborah as we see in 
Judges chapter 4 verse 5 Debora was a distinguished judge she had a great sense of justice she was fair to people she had a she gave a listening ear she was willing to listen and understand their problems and enable them to find solution for themselves debora as a leader was a great woman of faith and action she had she trusted god at every step that she had to take and she trusted god at every move that she had to make alongside the people her team debora and bara worked together debora was willing to work alongside people and uh, we remember uh, how debora responded to bara who was uh, not very bold or courageous debora contacted bara one of israel's strongest military leaders and told him what god had asked her to tell him that god had commanded him to lead the host of israel in rebellion against jabin the king of canaan for 20 long years israel had been oppressed by jabin such oppression in those days meant the dishonoring of women the slaying of children and the destruction of vineyards many of the disillusioned people were turning away from god at that time debora stood strong alongside barak and worked alongside him together they help people to turn to god even today god gives us privilege to work uh, alongside men and women we work side by side in order to fulfill god's will and purpose deborah's obedience to god brought blessings deborah was willing to listen to god she was willing to spend time with god she was willing to do what god wanted her to do in the interest of the nation of israel during the dark period Deborah yielded herself to God. Imagine um, she used to feed the people in thousands, ten thousands, and how she could do that without faith in God and without working alongside people. She sought the cooperation of the people, and she also looked. for coordination efforts together as men and women at that period beloved in the lord even today god has given us opportunities to work alongside men and women in different contexts and may god continue to help us to be people of faith and action dear lord jesus christ thank you for the story of deborah Pray Lord that you will continue to help us to be faithful to you as Deborah was and as you enable Deborah to sustain peace in Israel for 40 long years help us also Lord to sustain faith in our families in our churches in our societies and in our nation for your glory in your precious name we pray Lord Jesus Christ amen